Good morning, Bagby Barracudas. This is BNN for Monday, February 22nd, 2021. And now it's time for Name That Teacher's Pet. This pet's name is Snowflake. Snowflake is a cockatiel. Loves sharing lunch and crackers. Does Snowflake belong to Miss London or Miss Balak? Snowflake belongs to Miss London. This dog's name is Grace. Grace loves to play ball, go for walks, and sing. Does Grace belong to Miss Erin or Miss Self? Grace belongs to Miss Self. And now it is time for Miss Bufton to read this month's book. Good morning, Bagby Barracudas. Today I have a Valentine's Day st story for you, and it's about one of your very favorite library friends, Froggy. Froggy's First Kiss. It was the week before Valentine's Day. And for Froggy, Valentine's Day meant candy, but it also meant love. See, he's dreaming of the candy. I like that in a lot of the books, his quilt has something to do with what the book is about. So today he has a kisses and hug quilt for Valentine's Day. At school, Froggy's mind wandered. Froggy, called his teacher, Miss Weatherspoon, what? Kindly pay attention, dear. Okay, he's watching the fly over here. And that's when he saw her, the prettiest girl frog in the world, the new girl in class. Her name was Frogalita. And when she smiled at him, his insides felt, oh, soft and wiggly, like he'd ate caterpillars for lunch. Froggy, called his teacher, what? Your eyes should be on your work, dear. It's not polite to stare. Whoops, said Froggy. Frogalina now is not paying any attention to the fly. At recess, Frogalina smiled at him through the monkey bars. He was hanging upside down. And when he saw her, he fell smack on his head. Bonk. At lunch, Frogalina sat beside him. She smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a treat for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And she gave him a big juicy apple. After lunch, Froggy and Frogalina played tetherball together. Frogalina wound up, socked the ball. And Froggy was so busy gazing into her eyes, the ball hit him in the head, bonk, and knocked him down. 
At lunch the next day, Frogelina smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a goodie for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And she gave him a cookie shaped like a heart. Yum. That afternoon, Froggy and his class made valentines. They cut hearts out of paper. Some big, some little, some red, some pink. And on just one, Froggy wrote, I love you. He didn't want any of his classmates to see, especially Frogolina. So he worked under his desk. Froggy, called Miss Witherspoon. What? Please work at your desk, dear, and don't make such a mess. When Froggy stood up, he hit his head on his desk. Bonk! And everybody laughed, especially Frogolina. Poor Froggy. He's having a hard day. At lunch the next day, Frogolina sat beside him again. She smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a surprise for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. What do you think she gave him? A big, juicy kiss smack on his cheek. Blah, sputtered Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Of course, in every book, Froggy... His face is red, sometime during the book. I think maybe he's embarrassed this time. Froggy grabbed his lunchbox and flopped away. Flop, flop, flop. His tummy felt so weird, he couldn't eat his lunch. Not even dessert. On the bus home after school, everyone teased him. Even Max, his best friend, they sang, Froggy has a girlfriend, Froggy has a girlfriend. No, I don't, cried Froggy. When the bus stopped, he flopped all the way home. Flop, 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 with his froggy fin feet. But his heart felt heavy. Was it love? Was it hunger? Was it his backpack full of Valentine cards? What should you do at school today, Froggy, asked his mother. We made Valentines, said Froggy. Did you make one for someone special? Froggy turned almost purple and flopped into his room. Flop, flop, flop. Even his mom is teasing him. But the next morning on Valentine's Day, Froggy served his mother breakfast in bed and said, Mom, that someone special is you. And he gave his mom the big heart with the I love you and also some chocolate clipper flies for breakfast. And his mother gave Froggy a whole bunch of kisses, candy kisses. She probably gave him some regular kisses, too, because moms like to do that. I hope you have a nice Valentine's Day. Be sure and say I love you to everyone that you love. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, Barracudas. It's Mrs. Bacon, and this is my daughter, Dallas. You have a joke for us, right? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And remember, Barracudas, choose kind.